Good afternoon, Southern Soul Tarot fam. Today we're going to be doing two, a second case, which was also by request. So it is for Kelly Brannon. Um, so she is 36 years old. This article that I have found, it was released on November 16th of 2020. Um, and she is a New Hampshire, uh, Hampshire native. So basically she's a musician and an activist. And she has been missing for four months. So according to the Live Oak Police Department, Kelly was last known to be at um, Sunshine Inn in Live Oak, Florida, late evening of July 14th, 2020, into the early mornings of July 15th of 2020. So, Eddie Emerson is her, was her boyfriend, still is, I guess, currently. Um, and then um, he said they were starting a new chapter in their lives together, and then this happened. That is a direct quote. Um, so, he also said they had argued uh, just after midnight. Uh, Kelly texted him threatening to leave. And not be with him no longer. So, on July uh, 15th, Kelly's boyfriend, Eddie, filed a missing persons report with Live Oak Police Department. Um, some claims were made of her um, basically being seen like about town after in these last four months, but none of them were confirmed. So, she is 5'5", five, five, about 130 pounds, blue eyes, uh, black hair. Uh, also, they said it is starting to gray in some areas, like a salt and pepper gray, from what I understand. So, um, that would be uh, the description of her. So, that is kind of the information I got. Like I said, do know that the boyfriend admitted that they had kind of gotten into a fight the night before. So, we're just going to kind of go from there and see where she wants to start off at. So, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to be using the Alice in Wonderland deck, which is going to also be by Barbara Moore. Um, so, that is a deck we're going to be using right here. And then we're also going to be using the Steampunk Tarot, and that is also um, made by Barbara Moore. So that is the ones we are going to be using for this reading, and then also we have the oracles in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and put these crystals down, lay down some water for the reading. This is basically an uncrossing, so anything that has not been told should be told or come out within the reading. This is going to be a protection. This is Archangel Michael. And then we'll also use a few sprays. This is going to be Flying Monkey. This is a protection spray as well to keep us safe during this reading. We're also be using Tornado Alley. So whatever has not been told should have wrecked havoc on after this. And this should be let us know. And this is also going to be Hot Damn, which is a good luck spray. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the Alice in Wonderland. Make sure all the cards are in order. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to ask her what was going on. The, uh, you know, vacation or what, whatever time she wants to start off at. What was going on leading up to this that she... Uh, Basically, had said she wanted to not come back and be with her boyfriend, and no one has seen her since. So, let's start off when the vacation, or I said, wherever she wants to start off at. So, but I will ask her about the vacation, beginning there. So, I'm going to ask for Kelly to come in with her spirit guides, as well as mine, source, all the archangels, guardians, and ancestors, so we can get a clearer picture on what happened, the... Uh, Days, week, uh, or weeks, months leading up to her disappearance that she feels is relevant. So this is what the first row is going to be about. So the Queen of Pentacles. So she was not really feeling in an earthly energy. I do not know her birthday, but usually that is going to be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it does represent feeling uh, solid and grounded within the earthly realm. So that was not something that um, I feel that she was feeling. So maybe that is why she was kind of um, traveling and doing other things to try to find herself. And see what she was into. So let's go ahead and see how she felt the day that she uh, went, disappeared. She went missing. Uh, temperance was out of reverse. So this is going to represent water and fire. So it's going to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. But it's showing there's an imbalance between emotions and actions. So yes, it does um, probably it does validate that they were arguing that day. So that is very much there. And then you do see the dualities of the signs, whether that be their signs or not. So let's go ahead and see how she is now and where she is and what she wants us to know.
the Ten of Cups. She is saying where she is now, she is happier than she could have been um, in this prior situation. Um, so let's go ahead and see with the eight Queen of Pentacles reversed in the recent past. Why was she feeling that way? Or who was making her feel that way if it's not her? Death. All right, so in the recent past, something was coming to an end. Maybe she was not lo no longer feeling this earthly energy that she was around or she was not feeling um, as in touch with it. So she felt it was coming to the end of this cycle. Something within the earthly realm. So what was coming to the end of the cycle in this earthly realm with the death card? Could you please tell us? The sun. So basically, I do believe, like he was saying through the text very much, and they were looked at and uh, reviewed and it did validate it. I think she was wanting to move on. I think she was no longer happy and wanted to have a brand new start. So let's go ahead and see why the temperance is in reverse for the day that she disappeared. They were arguing. He admitted that. It was found on the phone. So let's see how far that got. That was a lot of cards. So we're just going to go again. I just want to get one or two at the most. Can you give me one or two cards about what happened whenever y'all were arguing and what it led to? All right, so it's the Five of Pentacles. He did say that she did take off. This is kind of what it's looking like, but at the same time, most of them, they're not being taken against their will um, on the Five of Pentacles. They're kind of just walking away with somebody else or by themselves lonely. This one looks like she's being dragged away in the earthly realm. So, um, that's very interesting to me in that card. It's the first time I've ever seen the Five of Pentacles where it looks like somebody is being dragged away. So, let's go ahead and see what Ten of Cups, why she feels the Ten of Cups where she is now. Why do you feel the Ten of Cups where you are now, Kelly? Because the Page of Pentacles, she's had a brand new start within the earthly realm or a brand new offer of something in the earthly realm. So let's go ahead and see why is the five of pentacles here for temperance in reverse the day that you went missing. Because of the six of wands was in reverse. So the six of wands shows there was no victory that day. So that could have showed the argumentation that was going on, the being out in the cold. And then where she is now, she is in a different place. She seems to be more stabilized at this point in the earthly realm. So let's see what she is referring to. You were saying that you were feeling ten of cups, emotionally happy, and page of pentacles, a brand new start. Or, um, or reminiscing or wanting a brand new start in the earthly realm. So what would that be? Seven of Wands. So there was a lot of confrontation going on when she was here. So she's saying that's no longer that like that. And she's learned to move past that. So she wants to, to redo it. Is what she is saying. So let's go ahead and get the uh, Steampunk Tarot. And this is also going to be by Barbara Moore. So we're going to clarify with that. Again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. Like I said, I hope y'all do get some clarity from it. Again, this was a request. So thank you for your request. And um, I hope it you know gives you some clarity. So if y'all have any questions or have anything to add, you can always leave it in the comment section. Listen, if y'all are enjoying the reading and y'all have not yet clicked that subscribe bar, notification bell, and want to be notified in the future for readings like this or when I do live readings or anything else, um, you can if you click that subscribe bar or notification bell, it will let you know. So let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past in reverse. Why were you feeling that way? Why were you feeling the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the recent past? Because the hair fence reversed. Um, I feel like somebody or something was not being truthful, especially within the eyes of the Lord. This is tradition, family, homes, um, marriage, just anything that you would do within good faith. So maybe she figured out somebody wasn't doing that, I feel like. I don't feel like it was her. Um, I think that's why she wanted to put the death cycle into motion. And she wanted to have a brand new beginning with the sun. Uh, but let's go ahead and see why is the death cycle here for the days, weeks, okay? Because of the nine of swords. So when she figured out this information, it flipped her uh, queenly energy upside down. Whether she be um, an earth sign or not. Like I said, it's just basically saying in the earth, you know, she had the earth... Uh, element kind of you know at that point um mastered and she was moving forward in that way but the hierophant stepped in showed her the truth sent the death cycle into reverse so then it did cause some depression anxiety um and a bit i'm sure of the tension and, and hostility that was going on about the argument that he's claiming that happened that they did find the text that some of the stuff 
in voicemail that she did say that she was moving on and she didn't want to be around him anymore. So it does show that that uh, tension was there leading up to this trip and her disappearance. So why is the sun in reverse? Because the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. This is what I said. It could be a third party. But it's basically saying um, this relationship that was between them wasn't working out. Because if it's upright, Three of Pentacles like this, it's running like a well-oiled machine. When it's in reverse, it's not. So it, she is very much validating that the relationship was coming to an end. So um, And maybe she planned to do it on the vacation. But it might have sped it up. So why is temperance in reverse? King of swords. So temperance is in reverse because the male energy here, she's re uh, reversed as the queen of pentacles. So now that the king of swords is here, I would put that as a pair. Even if it's not the same elements, it is a king and queen. So I would think this is probably her partner when he was saying, yes, they were fighting and they are right next to each other. She's reversed to him. So she is upset with him. So let's go ahead and see why the five of pentacles is here. How did they get there? Who was it? Why the five pentacles here? How did it get here? And who put it there? The ten of wands. So somebody wanted to put something down and it was somebody with the emperor um, energy or could be, you know, fire sign. But I feel like it was someone who was very felt like uh, what they said, like what they say goes. So um, with the ten of wands, that is more fire. So it is basically Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Laying down a burden, not wanting to deal with it anymore. And that is the emperor kind of feeling like they are justified and uh, what they have done. They are upright. Like I said, they don't really have to do much. They just say it and it happens. So um, that is also fire energy. So there's two fires with earth again. So there's quite a bit of earth and fire. So let's go ahead and see why the six of wands is reversed. More fire. So there's very... And very explosive, the argument, just kind of like it was claimed. Alright, so now the King of Pentacles are reverse. So this would, um, this is some, this is another male now showing up. So, whenever this argument's going on, the King of Pentacles steps in and flips it upside down. So he said, over here would have been a pair. But now that they're showing up in the same signs, it makes me wonder a little bit more about who this per who these two individual males are because these are two individual males. They're not the same unless um, this person has a bit of mental instability in the sense that they're not really um, completely in control of their emotions at all. So um, we'll keep going and see what the last row gets. I'll try to pull out here who all the males are. Why is the Ten of Cups here for how you feel now? Nine of Cups. Okay, so she has a Ten of Cups, so she's emotionally happy, fulfilled where she is, and she has done it on her own, she feels. So that is more water energies, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm feeling more like this male has kind of manipulated. I think it's the same male. Even though technically um, on the board when there's two different males, it is two different males. But I do feel like this person presented himself like this to her. But then he flipped it around in the earthly realm on her in the last minute. Like he took her on this trip like it was going to be this communication with the King of Swords and everything was going to go great. So she could come out of this negative energy. But he was really just in the negative energy himself. So he had no intention on fixing anything. That's what that is. That's why he's sitting in the emperor position. So let's go ahead and see um, why the page of pentacles is here. Why is the page of pentacles here for where you are now and how you feel? Because where she is, she is working with more pentacles. So she's working a lot within the earthly realm um, to try to rebuild something. So, or wanting to rebuild something in the earthly realm. Not only emotionally, but physically. So she needs, she just wants to have, take the action to do it. So she's putting down the seven of wands. So when you put down the seven of wands, what's going to happen? Page of pentacles. So she was, again, is more pentacles. She is working on coming back and uh, coming back even stronger. As you can see, she's almost revealing herself through the curtain and she is coming back even stronger than before. It is going to be brand new to her, but she will be doing that. So she is working on herself where she is right now. So let's go ahead and do the dark mirrors. Just see if we get any um, cue cards to let, or any words 
that will give us cues as to what might be going on. All right, so we have Black Flower Fragrance. So this was showing that she was very much struggling um, with some of the, her feelings, and it did have to do with the relationship because it's covering her heart. So it's almost like having a shattered heart and then not being able to put it back together, but um, it's also not as fragrant and as beautiful as it would be if it was, you know, a red flower or some of that sort, you know. So it is saying that she was struggling uh, not only emotionally, um, but probably mentally with a lot of things. And then you have the child I was meant to be. So basically, I know she was a free-spirited person. So I think, you know, this could say that she very much did want to start over and to have this brand new start because she was a free-willed person and she wanted to have that. So let's go ahead and get one of the god goddesses and uh, angels cards. All right, so she gave an angel of clearing. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So they, she is saying yes at the moment. She knows that it is confusing. Nobody knows where she is. And uh, she does realize that. She said, but soon enough, that will be cleared up. And people will get more answers as to what has happened. So we'll go ahead and do the kipper just to see if we get any uh, cue words again. And then again, I want to just thank y'all for clicking on the video. I said I thank you for requesting it, and I hope that it gave y'all some clarity. So we're going to go ahead and do this Sarah Marchetti Kipper deck. So we have adjudication. That would be going under the row of her and her uh, partner at the time, Eddie. So let's see what else is going on. Bad health. So it's saying somebody was probably struggling with the health a bit at the time. So you do have three, so that is showing that someone was waiting for something to come in, and you have the three plus one is four, so that did affect the home life, whoever was having the health. It could have been mental health, physical health, but somebody was struggling with health, and mature woman. So these are the cards that you're going to get that she gave out. And then again, you break that down, that goes to three, two. So it's basically three, four, and then if you want to do three or two. But um, it is just letting you know there, that uh, I think she very much looked at herself as a mature woman, I think she was very mature for her age. Um, so I think that's just something she's bringing across. But I do think that at some point, health started affecting something. And she was ready to leave the situation. So I think those cards are representing. But again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. Like I said, I want to thank y'all again too for the request. This is for Kelly Brandon. She is 36 years old. She is... Um, let me see. She is basically been missing for four months in the Live Oak Police Department uh, is the one that is handling the case. So, um, and then her boyfriend, Eddie Emerson, is the one that, pro uh, not pronounced, excuse me, is the one that reported her missing. So, the last time she was seen was July 14th, 2020, early morning hours to uh, the early morning hours of July 15th. So, if y'all have any information, I will put all that contact information if y'all have any um, tips that y'all like to leave in the description. So y'all have a great one, SST. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see y'all soon.